Sin Caterham and Chen. Yeah, so today we are here in, in our simulator. It's, uh, it's a relatively new kit, but it's uh, been coming along really nicely. Uh, I've spent quite a lot of time here this year. Uh, obviously, in my training kit, not in my overalls, it gets hot there. Because it's, uh, it's, it feels like a real car. So, uh, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today. And we've done uh, quite a lot of uh, development work all the way through the season for, for this year's car and also for next year's car. And I've carried out a lot of that work. For me, the August was uh, pretty pretty normal routines. I stuck to my normal training and, and my fitness routines. Um, the only two things that I had on my schedule were two separate golf events, one in Finland and one in Poland. But apart from that, for me, just, uh, just sticking to my normal routines and, and making sure that I'm fit and well and ready to go. It's great to get back into the car again. Uh, obviously earlier this year, I did a practice sessions at Bahrain and Barcelona. Uh, we had some uh, fairly major developments, uh, development parts for the car there. And uh, since then, we've added some more stuff to the car. So the idea is now to, for me to get a feel for, for these new parts and, and work a bit on the, the setup of the car with those parts. And I think it makes perfect sense. And obviously for me, you know, I'm eager to get back to the car. So uh, it's a good opportunity for me as well. But uh, the reason behind doing it is to validate some of the new parts that we've had and we've added to the car since Barcelona. I'm Graham Saunders, welcome to our new machine shop. Over the shutdown, we've taken delivery of five brand new DMG machines and uh, I'd like to show you around. First of all, we'll start here with one of our, uh, the, the two new DMU 50 full five axis machines that we've bought. The idea behind it is that we can do very complex uh, parts for suspension, uh, hydraulics parts and uh, we only have to put the part on the machine and complete it in, in one single operation. Um, an example of that part is this clutch lever that, that I'm holding here from our new steering wheel. As you can see, it's held within the billet and all sides are machined in one operation and then removed. And then we have the completed part. So we've also got this robot loader, which uh, goes alongside this uh, five axis machine. The idea is, once this part's proven out during daytime working, we then load up the robot and it loads them lights off overnight and in the morning we come in and all the components are finished. So uh, it's unmanned during that running period. Here we have our two 50 Ecoline machines. They're similar to the full five axis machines but they're actually what they call three plus two axis. So you can still machine a piece in one visit on all five sides, but uh, it's when you don't actually require the complexity of a, a five axis movements. These are obviously a, a more economical way of still being able to make your part in one operation, but without having to spend the money on a full five axis machine. So again, uh, very useful to doing one off uh, complex components like chassis loose tooling, those sorts of things where uh, it's difficult to hold them to do a second operation. So again, there's the need to get hold of the job, machine all five sides, and then have it finished in one go. And finally, uh, the DMU 60 Evolution. I think we briefly saw in the last version of Caterham Unchained. Uh, this was very kindly loaned to us by DMG Morosiki uh, whilst we wait to take delivery of our own machines. It's again, a little bit more capacity than the machines we have extremely accurate piece of equipment, uh, particularly good for doing larger components like uprights and hydraulic manifolds, and we're uh, hoping they'll lend it to us for the foreseeable future. Welcome to the race phase here at GP2. I'm with Alexander Rossi and James Irwin after their podium finish at Spa at the weekend. Well, today, today we've got a bit of a different challenge for Rossi, the chilli challenge. James, James is going to tell us a bit more about it. Yeah, so uh, Phil, the team manager, he went to a chilli festival last weekend and he's uh, very kindly brought back some assorted chilies for us to uh, determine which is the hottest. Can't wait. I think we should make Alex start off or are we all going to go at the same time? Okay, so yep. pick, pick your weapons, guys. Funnily enough, everybody's going for the sweets. Let's try this one. 
Yeah. You look like you're swallowing straight down. Yep. How was that? I didn't taste it. So sweet. Relatively warm. Yeah, okay. Good. Next one. Go for it. You first. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. going to happen. 